Hey everyone, it's Liz. So today I'm going to be doing the best of 2012 tag which was created by MacBarbie07 and she literally just uploaded this like 15 minutes ago but I wanted to film a video and I was like what video can I film? I have no idea. It's too late to do New Year's Eve stuff. And then I checked my subscriptions and I was like oh MacBarbie07. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Also, do you guys see that I I built my shelf thing that I got for Christmas. Isn't it so beautiful? I don't. I think you can see all of it. Um, yeah, it's my favorite thing ever. And now my room is almost done, and I'm so excited. So yes, I'm liking this a lot. And sorry, you can kind of see my computer here. It has the questions just to make sure I get everything right. So yeah, let's get started. The first section is beauty, and I'm gonna start out with face. And so my favorite. I have two. Okay, I kind of cheated on a bunch of these, and I did like multiples, but whatever. My two favorite face products. Are first the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and this stuff is amazing it actually matches my skin tone like it's pale enough for me and it is so full coverage it is crazy some days I'll just use this as my foundation it covers up redness so well and it looks so natural it doesn't look cakey at all and it doesn't dry out my skin so this stuff is literally like heaven in a bottle so yeah I love this stuff it was a lifesaver I've been looking for the best concealer forever and finally this year like I think during the summer I finally found this and it's a match made in makeup heaven. I'm gonna pull a Gregory Gorgeous. I think yes. Next I have the Rimmel London Fix and Perfect Pro Primer. This primer is like the bomb.com. I found this is my I'm like out of this. I need to go get my third bottle. I've been or two, but I've been using this stuff like crazy this year. This helps my skin not get all dry when I put on foundation and it just helps it look so much nicer and like actually like kind of like glowy, not all dead and dry like my skin tends to look sometimes. So this stuff is amazing. It makes my makeup last all day and it is just... Next is my favorite cheek product. And for this I have chosen the CoverGirl Blush in Pl True Plum. Not Plum Crazy, True Plum. And I actually do not wear blush on a daily basis, usually just when I'm filming to give myself some extra color just because my face is already naturally so red so I naturally have a blush. And yeah, so uh, this is just a really pretty plummy color. It's perfect. It just is really nice and beautiful and pretty. And I have a little bit on right now, and I just love it. It gives the perfect, really light wash of color, which is perfect for me. It's nicely pigmented, and it doesn't look dry and chalky on my skin. Okay, next is favorite eye product, and I kind of broke this down into categories like mascara, eyeliner, eyeshadow. So starting out with eyeshadow is my. Naked 2 palette. Also my Naked 1 palette, but I've been using my Naked 2 palette a lot more, and I think it's because Naked 2 is meant for cool tones. I think so, and I definitely have cool toned skin. My favorite colors, I'll just show you guys my favorite colors real quick. Definitely Booty Call, Tease, Blackout, that is amazing. A is, that is amazing. And then, guys, basically all these colors. I just love using all of them. They're just all so beautiful. It's You can make so many different looks. They all complement each other perfectly. So this, the Naked palettes are just the bomb.com. I'm not going to throw this. This this is like my baby. Okay, so my favorite eyeliner is my MAC Fluid Line in Black Track. And this stuff is just the bee's knees. It is the best thing ever. It's super black. It goes on so easily. It just glides on perfectly. If you make a mistake, you can wipe it off, but it lasts so long. It doesn't like get up in my crease. Like it actually stays where it, I put it, especially if I go over it with um, blackout from my Naked 2 palette. It works perfectly on my waterline and my tight line. Like it doesn't like fall out of my eye, you know, and make those smudges. No, that does not happen. And it is just so beautiful. It's so easy to apply, and it just is such a like a nice opaque black. It just looks so nice, and I love it so much definitely worth the money. And then I actually have two favorite mascaras. My first one is the one that I've actually gone through two tubes of is the Maybelline Define Lash Waterproof Mascara. And I get it in brownish black just because I think that the brown black looks better on me than the black black. Yes? And so it just comes in a green tube and it just has, the applicator looks like this. And this just goes on so nicely. The only bad part is that it is waterproof so it really stays on your lashes. That's like a good and a bad thing taking it off. Ugh. That is a pain. My second one is one that I've been obsessed with like for the past two months, and it's my Urban Decay Super Curl Curling Mascara. As you can see, I just have the little sample of it, but this stuff, I'm in love with. It does not fall off of your lashes. Like, you don't get the little smudges underneath your eyes, and that's what I always get, and it always drives me crazy. This mascara doesn't do that, and it is like 
the best thing ever. I just love it so much. It has like a scoop wand which is supposed to help keep your lashes curled. I love curly lashes. My lashes hate to be curled just like my hair does not like to hold a curl. So this plus my Tweezer Man eyelash curler it is just, it's phenomenal. I love it so much. So yeah. Wow. I just, I don't know why this is so like difficult. That one fell on the floor. Okay, so now my favorite lip product, and I feel like if you guys have been subscribed to me since the summer, you know what I'm going to say. I wear this every single day almost. It is my Clinique Chubby Stick in Mega Melon. Can we just, like, it's just like a little stump. I have used this stuff so much. It is my go-to lip color. Most days, I will wear this. It just, like, matches my lips perfectly. It complements my skin so nicely. I'm actually not wearing it for this video, which is kind of a surprise. It's just this beautiful, like, mauve pinky, perfect -y color that just looks so gorgeous on my pale skin. Like, it just complements pale skin perfectly. Like, it just, it's so beautiful. I am so happy that I purchased this. It is, like, the best purchase of the year as far as makeup goes. I got it over the summer, and it's also super moisturizing, and it doesn't, like, bleed. It actually, like, stains your lips, so it stays in place. Clinique Chubby Sticks, just as a whole, are, like, my favorite thing ever. All right, now my favorite skincare product, and this is my Neutrogena Oil-Free Acne Wash Pink Grapefruit Facial Cleanser. And this is my third, second bottle of this? Third? I don't know, I also use the scrub. Just the Pink Grapefruit line in general is amazing. It keeps, I rarely break out, but when my skin does start to act up, this is the most amazing thing ever. This keeps my skin beautiful and clear, and it takes off all of my makeup. It isn't harsh. It smells amazing, and it's just so fun and pink, and I love it so much. This is just the best skin. Like, this is just the best facial wash I've ever found, and it's just usually what I use every single day. Now it's time for my favorite nail polish. The first one I have to say is my Sally Hansen speedy dry top coat or some like quick dry top coat because that dries my nail polish so fast it is a lifesaver but my actual favorite nail polish is this Revlon nail polish in Raven Red and it is this gorgeous burgundy color like this is so pretty I have it on my toes right now and this is so perfect it's perfect for fall for winter and I will even wear this in the spring and it's not spring more summer a spring I definitely stick to pastels but pastels but yeah this is beautiful. It lasts really long and it just is such a gorgeous color. I am obsessed with it. I actually have used up like half the bottle, which is saying a lot for nail polish. Like usually, you know, nail polish, it's kind of hard to use up a whole bottle of nail polish, but this I've actually used up half the bottle, which is saying a lot. So yeah, this is my favorite nail polish of 2012. Okay, now my favorite hair product and I, I have decently long hair, okay guys? Like, it just... It just keeps going. So when I blow dry my hair, it can take a while. I'm just when I want my hair to dry fast, it takes forever. So this is the most amazing product I've ever found for my hair, and I am going to repurchase it for the rest of my life. And one bottle has lasted me like all year. This is the Paul Mitchell Smoothing Super Skinny Relaxing Balm. This stuff is 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 just the most. It is just like a holy grail hair product. It is just amazing. Like this stuff. If you haven't tried this yet, you need to. If your hair, like, takes forever to dry, you need to try this. When I use this stuff for my hair, my drying time, like, cuts in half. Even if I don't blow dry my hair, my hair just dries so much faster. It gets nice and smooth, like, it doesn't get all frizzy and staticky. If I didn't have this, there's no way I could deal with my long hair. Right, next is the favorite body product slash perfume. I actually, I'm not really a perfume wearer, which is kind of strange. I used to really love wearing perfume, but I actually, I don't wear a ton of perfume. You know, I just stick to, like, the smells of my lotions and my body washes. But I have, I don't know if you guys know this, but I have really bad, like, dry skin on my arms. I kind of, like, my arms are always kind of just, like, red and bumpy and dry. I think it's called keratosis pilaris. Yeah, believe me, it is not fun. So, this lotion is amazing. So this is the Naturally Soothing Body Lotion Oatmeal and Shea Butter. This stuff makes my arms so nice and soft, and it calms down the redness and helps them look presentable and nice. I used to always feel so self-conscious of my arms when I was wearing a tank top or a short sleeve shirt, but this just helps my arms look so much nicer and just less dry and nice and smooth and soft and pretty, so this is awesome. So now on to fashion. So my favorite clothing pieces for 2012 have got to be button-down shirts, starting with this denim one. Now guys, I have been wearing this denim shirt literally all of 2012. I actually got it 
January of 2012, I think. Yeah, this denim shirt, literally all year, probably at least, probably once, at least once every week or once every two weeks, I wear this denim shirt. It is just like the most amazing shirt ever. I love this shirt. You can wear it with so many things. I've worn it with dresses, I've worn it with leggings, with jeans. Right now I'm wearing it with my, my purple jeans and <laughs> I have my fuzzy socks on. So this shirt, I've worn it with dresses, just with every single thing possible. Like I could just literally, we could spend a good 10 minutes just looking at pictures of every single outfit I've worn this with. Like, I also have one from my grandpa that's longer that you've seen in an outfit of the day, I think. I wear it with leggings and it like, covers my butt and it just looks really awesome. Plus it with my grandpa, so that just makes it even better. Also, I've been loving like oversized sweaters and sweatshirts. This was one from Forever 21. And yeah, especially wearing them over my button down shirts, like, heck yes, the best thing ever. And then on to my favorite accessories. And I, all of 2012, this kind of goes with my denim shirt. I've been loving like tribal e accessories. So the first one I have are a pair of earrings, and these are actually from my grandma, and they are ivory, and she got them forever ago, and they're kind of like, they're kind of really just cool and different, and I really love them here. I'll just show you one. I just love these so much. I always get so many questions about them, like, oh, what are those made out of? I'm like, ivory. And now the last question, what is your top song of 2012? Do you know how hard of a question that is, Bethany? Like, choosing one song, how is that even possible? First song is... Blood by the Middle East, and I actually discovered this song at the end of one of my other favorite movies. It's kind of a funny story. And so Blood by the Middle East, it is just, go listen to it right now. It is such an amazing song, and it kind of makes you cry a little bit, but it also makes you happy. I don't really know how to describe it. And so that song, the reason I chose that song is basically that's the first song, like indie type music that I listen to, like indie alternative type song that I listen to. And that song has led me to my music now, which is basically like indie alternative. And the second song that I chose is Sweet Disposition by The Temper Trap. And actually, I think you guys might know this, I actually had a friend that passed away um, at the beginning of the school year, and that was one of her favorite songs, and or a song that she really liked. And so that definitely has been like a big song for me, just it's, it's just like a really beautiful song. And so yeah, so that song has definitely been pretty meaningful for me. 2012 has, for the most part, been a really great year. I've definitely, like, made progress in my life, if that makes sense. You know, I'm not, I'm not like, in the same place that I was a year ago, so that's, that's something that makes me really happy. Oh, and also, I have a channel for you guys to check out. My, one of my really good friends, like, best friends in RL, real life, um, she created a YouTube channel, and her, like, username is Mel J, like, M-E-L space J-A-Y, and I'm gonna link her channel down below, so please go give her some love. She only has uploaded like a couple videos, but she's gonna start uploading more videos soon. And we're gonna do a collab video next week. So, so yeah, I hope you guys have a great New Year's Eve. Be bad, have a good time, but don't party too hard. Don't do anything too dangerous. Too dangerous. But yeah, I love you guys so much. I'll see you next year. Bye!